Alexa, give me a look at news update. Philip, here's your news. Philip, you're all caught up on the news this evening. I'll start your news channel again from the beginning. From ABC News. From ABC News, I'm Dave Packer. Maine now joins Colorado, becoming the second state where the 14th Amendment has been invoked to prevent former President Donald Trump from appearing on the primary ballot. Even before this decision came down, Donald Trump's campaign blasted Maine's Secretary of State as a completely biased partisan. And after her ruling, the campaign labeled her a virulent leftist. Shanna Bellows, elected by state lawmakers to her post, says Trump was, quote, fully aware of how his words and deeds had bred violence when he summoned a crowd to Washington on January 6th. Trump's campaign says it will quickly seek to appeal her decision in Maine State Court. ABC Stephen Portnoy is shooting at a Texas mall this evening. The Parks Mall in Arlington evacuated. Two people hospitalized. Condition unknown. Police say it's not an active shooter situation. The off-campus rental where four University of Idaho students were murdered last year was torn down today. Families wanted the building in Moscow to stay up, believing it contained key evidence. But university official Jody Walker says students... They look at it every day. They walk past it every day. They live with it. And being able to welcome them back for the new semester uh, without the house being that reminder, I, I think they will appreciate that. The IDF says it shot down a drone fire from Lebanon into Israel. ABC foreign correspondent Blit Kennett. Is in Tel Aviv. A member of Israel's war council warning this week that if the Lebanese government does not take action to secure the border against Hezbollah, the IDF will. We're not interested in that es escalation, but we don't, and we can't be expected to roll over. Israel already expanding its operations in southern Gaza. A strike in Rafa today, killing at least 20. Mayhem in New York City. Several people injured, including cops, when someone made off of the box truck in Staten Island this evening. Police in pursuit. Several vehicles were struck, including police cars. The suspect bailed from the truck, but ultimately was caught. You're listening to ABC News. Off the California coast, don't go out.